So, hello everyone and welcome to another match mode game of World in Conflict. So, this happened indeed again very recently, this game, just like um, maybe a week ago or something. So, very recent game indeed. And uh, it's going to be a 5v5 game where teams are not exactly balanced, as in skill level for our my team versus their team is uh, kind of a lot. Like uh, we played almost the same team. I think it was 4v4 just before that we played with uh, basically otherwise the same people involved and my team lost it completely. Like uh, not even remotely close of beating it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, this time around then thinking like what we are going to be doing, who plays what. And um, I'm thinking at the start already here that uh, if I want that we have any chance of trying to win, that I have to try to be extremely aggressive. But uh, yeah, so small island for our team is going to be playing infantry. Donaldo Logi is going to play playing armor. I'm going to be the heavy shoppers. Vertigo is starting with heavy shoppers, but is planning to change into medium shopper specifically because Diamor as a support who wants that, considering they can have a very good air player after all. So that is the original plan, and uh, that is how we are going to be starting. So yeah, indeed. Two at start and then one medium day heavy pro air. So that's the idea. Their team, on the other hand, I can't see it that well in this, but I think it was a Studiball and good player, Alien at least, Wally, and probably Mycon, as in Claude, most likely. I No, it was Muku. Muku was in the team, yeah. So it was Studiball, good player, Alien, I think. Either it was Alien or then Claude. Well, we'll see. I Maybe it was Claude. But we'll see when the game actually starts, who are getting points and everything. Can't remember exactly. Regardless, because we just lost the game before with almost same teams, I decided that I want to be as aggressive as possible. Usually you decide here if you want to be going and attacking Windmill or do you want to try to do a town push. But Donald Dolochi kind of said that we are doing a little bit like both or there wasn't a proper consensus so I just thought that well it's safer to try to go to the town and I wanted to try to do the attack there especially when uh, Donald Lodge is already spotting here. My good side is that Vertigo is attacking here first which means that Wally as a support and the medium shoppers both are concentrating on Vertigo first while I have a easier time approaching here. And yeah, Claude is playing, uh, my con Claude is playing infantry, uh, student ball and good player are both the playing armor role. And Muko is starting as the only air player playing then medium shoppers and then there is Wally as the support. So yeah, teams very stacked, they got way better team. <laughs> Vertigo is trying to attack but uh, doesn't do that much but at the same time I'm attacking here which does mean that Wally can't really concentrate as well in the both sides. I did lose the scout but that doesn't really matter when I'm basically destroying everything that is coming this way, at least almost, not uh, exactly the anti-tank infantry, but it's still pretty good. The now the medium is. shoppers are coming to my direction because there's Vertigo basically got wiped out, I think, over there. Didn't pay that well attention. I'm slightly retreating at least and just asking that they will go forward and uh, just cap this too because there's nothing there at the moment so they can get some more TA by capping it. I thought that that would be a good thing and I just want to destroy it so that it can't uh, disrupt us from getting the cap even if I lose the shopper. I thought that it's worth it. But we have a very weird and interesting starting situation. Of course in the meantime good players slash Twitter ball are also pushing to our farm uh, extremely early on. But yeah, usually you never push here <laughs> this early on, pretty much ever, never. But I thought that it was worth it. And I think it's a cool, interesting situation, which at least gives us some more TA. And of course, I'm then going and concentrating here first because of the fact that they were pushing so much. 
though I could be going here considering. I do think that this from Donaldo Lochi is a good idea so that he can actually try to get the cap again and get out of here because at the moment <laughs> he's kind of stuck there. That wasn't necessarily the best attacking there for me, but well, it's also difficult when there is the medium artillery. But at least at the in the meantime, this is indeed hinting nicely and uh, Donald Lodge is planning to cap it this place again, getting more TA. And I think that the fact of getting all of this TA from here, from these caps, definitely was helpful to us. Like, sure, they could also cap in here, but still, I think that we got a pretty nice start here with the down. And it's definitely giving us a nice uh, bonus stick at the start. And we are definitely close of getting this too. I wish I had an air unit here. Uh, I shouldn't have let them die in here. And that I could be just clearing them out and getting the cap right now. But sadly, yeah, I'm at least informing them that yeah, I'm, I'm trying to come and try to actually help and destroy some of those tanks. Sadly, they have all of these medium shoppers and Wally close by. I did damage those uh, tanks a lot, but tough to destroy. Still have this air unit at least here to stay around to try to maybe help with the tank kills etc when needed but yeah and the amor is trying to help a uh, small island to like tell that have a sniper in this location sent your new but unit. yeah um, it does seem that them. we are going to be getting another cap from the town which is very nice after all very very nice to get another cap they don't have heavy air after all at the moment so as sus our support can be working way better sadly just <laughs> uh donald Lodge didn't kind of happen your to be standing in there like otherwise the it battle. would have been gotten that cap at least i have a proper shopper group now and can try to actually go and uh help in the town a little bit more it's not like they're able to otherwise cap it that easily either yet. Of course, there's so much stuff. Like, this is probably the only problem. Like, uh, Donatology is doing their own TA, and at the same time, Diamor is doing their own with the heavy artillery. There's like two things that are very unnecessary use of TA. I think if there was a better use of TAs, as in a little bit more control and not having all of these TAs at the same time, etc., we would have had a pretty good chance of actually winning this game if we just didn't quite waste that much like it's um at least 25 ta wasted because if you had the heavy artillery then definitely wouldn't have needed the other stuff so yeah quite of a shame but can't completely help it try to help at least here. a little bit in killing this and uh, i think should get the cap relatively soon there we go cap of the town again i do have to say that i think that uh, good player and Stuiter would be able to win this game way faster for their team at the moment if they were more aggressive armors. That's my take deployed. at least. They have a lot of, of course, they generate a lot of TA by just shooting around from this location into the, our farm where we're not really doing anything other than just defending. But still, I feel like they could very easily be more aggressive. Also, Vertigo doesn't, isn't really very useful of just being medium units, shoppers because now. the only air that they have is medium shopper group at the moment so but uh yeah vertigo sadly isn't that experienced and uh yeah just uh especially in the 5v5 and overall just like i would say vertigo is the worst player in the team if we talk about skill levels diamor is the best with me i'd say donatology is doing good otherwise but uh, I'd have to criticize this move of taking a medium artillery with the armor. You should be only taking heavy tanks, light tanks, stuff like that. Leave the medium artillery always for an inf player, or maybe, possibly, you could consider uh, that support sometimes if air is bad or there's only medium air, then you could take maybe a medium artillery with the support unit for a bit. But... Uh, yeah, otherwise infantry should be using it. Not Definitely not armor row. <laughs> That's uh, absolutely a big no. And then for small island, I would say that their best role is infantry. They're not as good at it as uh, some other players who are way more experienced, but they are doing a pretty decent job in this specific game, at the very least. 
So that's uh, yeah, basically our team. But then yeah, I would be ranking most of their players at the very least higher. I would say Wally is still a little bit better at the very least as support, even if the Amor is also good. Way. And uh, airs, well, probably like Vertigo, of course, is the worst air here. But then otherwise, like uh, Muku, and then later. Another uh, air player is definitely at the same slash higher levels than me, around the same ish, mayhaps. And then armor, well, <laughs> their armor isn't taking a medium artillery first and foremost. I think the Nautology is better with infantry, personally, but not that they're bad. I, I did like how he pushed here, did the really aggressive push. I think that that really helped our team in the start. So it's not like I'm just trying to be extremely critical or anything of a sort, but there's good and bad sides with all players, basically, like uh, every player has their own faults and their own benefits. And uh, asking to f push more into town again, which makes sense considering can pretty easily try to get the cap in here. So the ball is now actually uh, even pushing a little bit more into the mansion direction, which of course I will be trying to deal with to the best of my ability. But Wally is of course right there, so can't really go into there yet. But at least the armor did use already their smoke ability, so I don't have to worry about it. And at least the tick is very much in our uh, side for the moment and time being. Sadly gonna be losing that star heavy tank now, so... Also using a lot of heavy tanks. I personally probably would use like two heavy tanks and then half lights. Not that having maybe three isn't that bad, but yeah, like the Amaris com saying about this uh, medium artillery that useless. That's really not what <laughs> armor should be doing and using. Definitely not. At least destroyed the armor in there, so uh, volley support shouldn't even be really my job to deal with as much. And a lot of AT in from small islands going forward. And still having some defenses in here for a certainty, which is good. Good to have some defenses for the firebase because, uh, yeah, it's very likely that the enemy will at some point destroy the fortifications and do drops into Mother there to try to cap it. And now we are getting a nuke your from Donatology. I think that's a pretty good one and getting even a lot of drops from Small Island, which is pretty nice to like uh, try to cap these places then afterwards if we have enough support. Of course, also their armors and support are pushing forward then because don't know where it's going to be coming. And uh, yeah, and now Stuiter and Stuiter specifically has quite a few of light tanks, which are difficult to deal with all of them. At least the mansion has been stopped from being capped. But yeah, like we would have been able to, of course, use this nuke way better if this wasn't as bad of a situation. Sadly, it is taking quite a bit of uh, effort. Unit killed. Probably should have let that tank buster come first before I tried to go and kill those light tanks. But uh, not too bad of a situation still, I guess. And yeah, now good player has actually changed into from the armor into heavy air. So now at least the medium shopper group makes sense to have. Although it should really be here to assist right now because the both of the heavy airs are here. Need to concentrate on the fact that two heavy air groups are destroying whatever is in town. Would need to be there immediately, but uh, not exactly the case. Also, small island, I guess, or was it? Hmm. Not sure now who was asking the air support in there, but still would like to be pushing into here too. Also, Vertigo is actually done air beams. <laughs> That's also something you generally speaking don't do as the air player. You you give your TA for other people to use it because air drop aims are way more expensive for an air player to do. Normally, indeed, air player definitely doesn't, but we get the cap again for the mansion. We have at least this uh, area of the town capped. And now at least uh, Donald Torch is actually doing airstrikes. It just would be perfect if we had some drops into here at the same time or something to actually units, try to cap it. But uh, that's not quite the case. I wish that I had noticed that there was the light tank there. Also, that's kind of, I think, more to the left than it would need to be. It could be a little bit more to the right, like Donatology's nuke. But another nuke. So, a lot of nukes. Of course, at least it's gonna kill all of these trying to approach us. So, it wasn't too bad. But it just 
hardly decapped. Like that point didn't get affected at all and they're easy going to be getting another cap in here. So I think it would have needed to be a little bit more in here. At least we should be able to try to get this location at some point. I should probably be killing this air, to be honest, too, while I was here. <sighs> like, uh, yes, um, don't know what you would have been asking for that. Probably, yeah. And I maybe I should have, but I was also looking that well, but I'd need to go and here to kill too. But yeah, still probably should have been there, then used the uh, full air. Uh, but I was thinking that nonetheless, even if this air unit is here, it should not stop us from getting the cap, which is true enough. But yeah, it's a it's a good question. Probably still should have been rather getting rid of it first, but I didn't notice it. I was already on the move. And at the same time, there's the should rather take care of it when he's a medium shopper group. But I don't know where his air units are at the moment. But uh, yeah, we still somehow are winning, but I think around this area we are starting to... Well, not quite yet, but pretty soon going to be Your getting into their spot. At least those couple of Ergot and Pai, more good players' units. Muku is going for repairs in the meantime. They are pushing, of course, a little bit more into here, trying to get to the farm and mansion. And yes, now finally they are nuke. Like, for example, if we had saved this nuke for a little bit later, like a countering now, they are nuke. I think that would have probably Night gone better. Going. Though we are all the way in here in this case, so the Nautology should have just continued there, <laughs> considering the air was retreating even. But um, yeah, we have very interesting situation. We are pushing here, they are pushing here. I decided to then kill that one airdropping because clearly Small Island doesn't have any influence anymore in here, and I don't know how many airdroppings there are to wait to try to cap it, so I thought that just killing that one airdropping, at least stopping it a little bit, then trying to go and kill at least all the units from our areas in here. I noticed that situation too, and try to go and help there next. <laughs> could also try to kill that, so that Wally, uh, so that uh, Diamor with the tank could be getting that easier, but at least uh, killed that unit nonetheless then. Now Muku has done a change. Like this is the only question that I'm a little bit like unsure if this is... Because usually the one person is the switcher and good player was before the tanks. But now then Muku has gone and decided to change into a <laughs> light tank. So should that have happened? But on the other hand of course still only... Um, a uh, good player changed into air, and then another player of that used to be air changed into light tanks. Nonetheless, good light tank spam, and uh, again, Vertigo's uh, medium choppers aren't that useful. I shouldn't really go here, considering the fact that I really didn't have scan or even missiles to try to deal with it. At least I can salute Vertigo for just going with their medium choppers and actually killing that. <laughs> <laughs> that Your unit and the then uh, heavy shopper has one heavy shopper in here uh, to kill then the uh, those units but uh, yeah I don't know if I should have gone and done all of that but nonetheless and yes to the ball and Muku both are spamming these light tanks very much so I would definitely especially need to kill this one so that they don't get the mansion but I don't think I can quite get it anymore but uh, oh well can't be helped and then Stoider Ball sending even more light tanks, Wally, and now Muku is back air. So there was the light tanks spa spams and then then now again heavy air. And uh, yeah. And then the airdrop beams indeed are taking our firebase, which I wish wouldn't be the case. I tried to at least go and assist a little bit so that they wouldn't be able to have as many units here. But uh, sadly, it's not like I can... At least uh, Donaldology is sending here something too, just to try to get some of these at least a little bit smaller. Sadly, the Amor's uh, jeep in there did get, did get destroyed though. But uh, yeah, it's been... A very interesting game. We had the tick on our side, but again, if we had controlled the uh, TA a little bit better at the start and not, for example, having two nukes in a row when they haven't done any nukes, etc., I think we would have been probably in a better situation. Because, yeah, uh, it's still pretty much even, like we are barely getting minus tick for the moment. But, uh, 
and we have this for a short moment anyway. But uh, they, they are starting to get uh, the tick advantage more. We don't have enough units. They have a lot of control with these two heavy air groups when Vertigo isn't quite able to stop it all. And uh, the scout isn't that useful in this situation. Is he deleting this unit? Yes, he did. And I don't know why he deleted the medium shopper, considering they have still two heavy air shoppers groups, even one couple right here next to him. But uh, he deleted it. And then I'm attacking here, trying to just kill, even like if it's dangerous, but it doesn't matter. They got the total dom, have to stop it immediately. <laughs> and yeah, like Diamor is saying that. Donatology especially should be rather bringing light tanks. Light tanks are faster. Like, sure, these can try to destroy a little bit of the air, but that's... It's not enough to uh, say that this is the right decision. Also this, I criticize very heavily. He should have decap first, then go into this direction. Decap with those, whatever. But decap this place before just rushing into there with the one unit. That didn't make any sense. It just gave them more tick for a while for no reason at all. <sighs> Your new units are deployed. Uh, Donald Logi is making more drops. They have, after all, the fire base again. There, I have to kill also that light, uh, that AA. I have to try to kill these uh, light tanks. Still have these two air players here around. <sighs> Too much to kill. Still for me, even though they they have indeed. Uh, to air players, but um, yeah, I guess because most of our team doesn't survive. And at the moment, when there is actually two heavy airs, uh, now is the wrong time to bring any heavy shoppers by Vertigo. He should just and only be bringing the... Um, yeah, because it's just one player. It's very good player and Muku are still heavy airs, should stay as the medium shopper so that would help our support to deal with it a little bit and uh, that would help me also still better to deal with the situation like sure there's a lot of stuff but uh, small island is doing some nice moves into trying to do some decaps here does get the decap could even try to get the cap uh, no diamor actually diamor is even doing then <laughs> these uh, airdrop infantries there's the go doing again his own light tank drops, which again isn't exactly nonetheless something that air should be doing, especially when there are better per people that would be doing it. Like, sure, it can be useful to get that decap, but on the other hand, it didn't give us enough of a advantage in this situation to actually try to win this. But yeah, just a little bit too much to deal with. And yeah, no answer to the double air. Well, partially because Vertigo even then in a situation when actually they have two heavy air shopper groups, when it would absolutely make sense to have medium shoppers, then he decided to bring the uh, uh, heavy air. Like, sure, there was a lot of stuff to kill, but still, our crown troops got completely all the time destroyed by two heavy air groups. So, you can't really do that switch. But I at least did a lot of damage. I sometimes a little bit confused. Why do I have 996 score here, but then enemy damage is 1007? But regardless, uh, I think that this was a good game from me. I think I did try to do a lot to try to uh, keep the game going. Though I think that most people, like, uh, on the other hand, if we look into Small Island having 960 points from command points, that's very good. That's that's not bad at all. He definitely did a lot of drops. I can't uh, just completely, like, uh, wear all of them good drops. But after all would take a while to look into all of them but regardless a nice amount of uh, captures and Diamor of course got a lot of points from just simply repairing but uh, yeah a lot of TA generation by capping this town a lot of the times and considering the teams this should have been an extremely easy win to NATO side just like it was the previous game so all things considered it's surprisingly close. We only lost by about 10%. So I think it was a good game. And uh, I tried to do some constructive criticism. What could be done better? Didn't concentrate that much into Small Island. But at least they like the very big things. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this specific replay. And uh, I'll see you for more next time. So thank you for watching. See you then. Bye.